All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam two, problem number seven. All right, so we want to locate the discontinuity of this function. All right, so it's a piecewise defined function, and uh, if you look at uh, the top one, all right, this is just a linear function, so it is uh, nice and continuous um, uh, by itself. And the same thing, uh, the second formula, still this is a linear function, so it's a nice and continuous uh, by itself. The only problem that can occur is the gap between those two uh, different formulas. So in this case, x equals 1. Right? So the question becomes, um, is f uh, continuous at x equals 1? Right? So uh, we have to use the definition. So uh, oh, actually, I meant one, not uh, a one and the question mark. All right. So the since we have to use the definition, so definition of continuity at uh, x equals one is this. Uh, so here's the definition. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, limit of uh, f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to a uh, function value at uh, x equals 1. Right? So we need to uh, check that. All right? So we need to uh, uh, evaluate this limit, but since the, there are two different formulas, we need to look at the one-sided limit. So we're going to look at the limit of this function f of x as x approaches 1 from the left and also a limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. All right. So this one we're approaching 1 uh, from the left so x is going to be slightly smaller than 1 so we have to use the top formula so this is a limit of uh, 2x as x approaches 1 from the left, right? But the, since this is a polynomial function, you just plug in. So it's a 2 times 1 is going to be 2, right? How about this one? So this is going to be a limit as x approaches 1 from the right. But uh, since x is slightly bigger than 1, uh, we need to use the bottom formula, which is 5 minus x. So as x approaches 1, you get the 5 minus 1, which gives you 4. All right? Then we notice that uh, these two values do not agree with each other. Right? So this tells you that uh, if the left hand limit and uh, right hand limit uh, give you two different values then the uh, two-sided limit does not exist so this guy as the x approaches one uh, does not exist right so which means that uh, since the limit doesn't even exist that we cannot satisfy this definition of continuity so this tells you that uh, f is uh, not continuous at x equals 1. All right? So therefore, uh, therefore, discontinuities is at x equals 1. So f has a discontinuity at x equals 1. Alright, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.